Oh my gosh, guys, it is cold and it is raining, but that's okay because it's Saturday night! It is Saturday night, guys. Welcome to the show. We are going to start this off at Family Video this week. We are going to go in here, rent an awesome movie. Then we're going to go find some awesome snacks, make an awesome t-shirt, an awesome nest in the living room, and have an awesome movie night. Come on. Pretty cool. Okay, so I really have no idea what I'm looking for this time. But I do like when you come in the door here, they have like this whole thing that shows the new releases. The dates on top here and what's come out. So this stuff here is what actually was just released. And I'm not really interested in any of that stuff. Let's just go look around a little bit. Okay, I think I want a new release this time. But look at this. This is what I like about movie rental places. You get to discover movies that you didn't even know exist. Like, here is another Keanu Reeves movie I didn't even know existed. The Whole Truth. Keanu Reeves and Renee Zellweger. I've never heard of this movie. From 2016. It's Keanu, so I'm sure it's good. Oh my gosh, I am such a sucker for older movies. I love Big so much. And look, right beside it... Beverly Hills Cop, another one of my all-time favorites. I like Taron Egerton, but I don't know. This one just does not look very appealing to me. But I love Pixels. I don't know why this one didn't do very good. That's actually going to be in the running. I may even own this movie. <laughs> but it's just on regular DVD, not Blu-ray. And I know I just said, let's get something new. But this is how I roll, yo. The new Terminator. I do want to see that, but I'm just not really in the mood tonight. Shazam is totally awesome, but I've seen it about a hundred times. Let's see what else. Ooh, somebody told me that I should see Rambo Last Blood. So I will, but not tonight. Okay, let's look at this for a minute here. New release rentals. DVDs are $2.99. Blu-rays are $3.49. 50 cents more for five nights. Wait a minute. Five, oh, okay, I see. It's color-coded. 50 cents more for five nights on those. And this color is five nights included. So anyway you shake it, I'm going to have these movies for five nights. And here is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Hmm. It's a five-nighter. Okay, that one's definitely in the running, too. Here's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I love that all of these are in. I think we will wait on that one, though. Here's one that I thought I was really going to love, and it just didn't do very much for me. I love Jesse Eisenberg. But... Wait a minute, what the heck? Dog Man? What is this? 
Oh, subtitled. No way. Okay, here's Gemini Man. And I was just talking to somebody about this movie. I saw about half of it. What I saw was really cool, and I love that new effect, how they make people look young. Especially in that new Bill and Ted commercial for Walmart, where Bill shows up in the, uh, in the phone booth and the younger Bill is there. But there was a lot I didn't like about Gemini Man, even seeing just a little bit of it. And I don't want to give anything away, but the girl, there's always a girl in those movies. And I didn't like how the girl, like, immediately just changed sides and went with the outlaw. <laughs> what is this? Dark Encounter? That totally looks like something I would love. Hmm. Really tempted to get that, but I think I will wait on that one. If you've seen it, let me know if it's worth renting. See, Family Fun is where I always get drawn to because I love these kinds of movies. I love the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movies. And look at this, guys. Look at all these goosebumps. I love goosebumps. <laughs> Here's Goosebumps 2, and I have not seen that one yet. I think, though, we'll stick with what we have. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is, you know, along the same lines as the Goosebump movies. So, I think we'll stick with that for right now. We got the movies. Let's head out. And it is still rainy and wet and cold out here. But I don't care. I'm having a good time. Okay guys, cold, rainy, but I don't care, the fun continues. I don't think we need very much in here. Pretty sure I have most of what I need at home already. Let's see, I need a tomato. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, first let's go over here and get our food. We are gonna make chicken and waffles tonight. Now keep in mind, I am on a low-carb diet, so this is going to be a low-carb recipe, but it's still delicious. I mean, you guys can make it exactly like this, or use whatever kind of breading you want. And the first thing we need, obviously, is chicken. Here's tenderloins. That would work, but I don't think that's what I want. And it doesn't have to be free-range. Ooh, look at this. Two fifty dollars on clearance. Oh my god, guys, look at this jacket. This is the best ever. Members only. Look at Chucky! Strange man asks to take a picture of your jacket in Walmart. Right, there's a value pack, but I don't think I want that much chicken. Mmm, I think this will do right here. I actually want thin sliced, but the thing is that this is $3.86 a pound for the generic one. And this is Purdue for $3.37 a pound. I can cut it thin myself for that. Alright, let me think here. We need eggs and cream cheese. And I already have that at home. I do need pork rinds, though. Okay, here we go. Max Original. I thought that was all I needed over here, but one more thing that is super delicious and tasty. If they even have it. Whoops, I'm sorry, excuse me. <laughs> okay, crap, they don't have it. It's called uh, Stewart's Diet Orange Cream. It is so good. I'm trying not to drink as much pop. But that stuff is delicious. All right, well, let's head on over here and get our t-shirt. And I have a special awesome, awesome idea that somebody told me that I should do. If I can make my way through here. Okay. I want a yellow shirt. This one's got a, uh, a pocket on it. And I don't like the ones with pockets when I'm actually going to be doing, like, iron-on stuff. Of course, all I have is, wait, here we go. Okay, yeah, we'll go with this one. Okay, look at this, guys. I'm colorblind, so to me, this is yellow, but everybody out there is gonna tell me it's green, and it actually is labeled as safety green, so I'm wrong, but it will serve the purpose. Now, I do have to get some more letters because I was trying to spell this out, and I'm missing one letter. So I have to spend $4 more just for one more letter. But the good thing is that they will build up over time. Maybe next time I won't have to buy any letters. Okay, one pack will do. And check this out. They actually have gold this time too, which I need for something else. Look at these tie-dye bandanas. We are definitely doing a tie-dye shirt very, very soon. Look at that girl. <laughs> 
Okay, I actually want some black fabric paint too. There we go. Because this idea is sweet. And these will come in handy. Okay guys, I think we've got everything we need. I need to pick something up up here that I ordered. And uh, check out, get home, make some delicious, delicious chicken and waffles and a t-shirt and watch a movie. Well, I don't know what all that ruckus is out there, but guys, we got home just in time, just as everything turned to snow and ice outside, which actually makes this a little bit more fun, in my opinion, because it's kind of like you feel like you're stuck in the house, but now you can really make some awesome stuff, an awesome snack, bundle up on the couch, and just watch a movie. So, like last week, we're gonna start with our shirt. We got the yellow shirt, but first, I want to do something else. Here's all our letters. We're going to set those aside, set that aside, and we are going to go straight to the paint. Get these stickers off the shirt. Let's get some parchment paper, and we're going to put that inside the shirt because we're going to paint something on here quick, and I don't want it to seep through the fabric to the other side. Okay, there we go. Now guys, do you remember back when you used to be able to go rent VHS tapes from these places and they had the little stickers on them that was like a yellow smiley face and it said, be kind, rewind? That's exactly what we're gonna put on this t-shirt. That's what our black paint is for. We're gonna put the little smiley face and then we're gonna put the words, be kind, rewind. The smiley face is gonna be about the size of this bowl. So let's put it about right there. We're gonna cut out our letters, make sure they fit and then we'll paint the smiley face. Okay, now that we got all the letters cut out, we're just going to collect those so we can do our painting first. Set those aside. Okay, so in making this uh, smiley face, I got a couple of things here I'm going to use kind of as a stamp. The first thing is this bowl. I'm just going to paint the black around the edge and stamp it down like that. I got a cigarette lighter with a little oval thing here to dot on for the two eyes. And then I'm going to use the bottom of this marker for the nose and half of the rim of this glass for the smiley face. Just gonna paint a little bit on each one, stamp it on there, and then we'll have our smiley face. I think I like the way it looked better without the nose, but uh, but it's still gonna be cool. there it is be kind rewind and that is our shirt for tonight i'll be right back who's ready to cook okay guys i am so excited to get cooking here as you can see we got a billion things in front of us tonight we are going to make chicken and waffles now as i said when i was in the store I do follow a low-carb diet, so everything I'm going to make here is made in a way that is low-carbs. You can make this however you want. 
You can use your own kind of coating with the chicken. Um, you can make your waffles with regular waffle mix, however you want to do it. But this is how I do mine, and it is absolutely delicious. Let's get started here. So tonight, the way that I'm going to make my waffles is just by using cream cheese, which I've been letting sit out and soften all day long. This is an eight ounce block, and then we're going to use one egg per ounce of cream cheese. So we're going to use eight eggs. We're not going to eat all that but that's what this is for so that we can save it. Plus this makes it easy to put the, uh, the waffle mix on our waffle iron. You just squeeze it in there and that controls it very easily. So let's prepare that real quick here and get this out of the way. So we got the waffle mix mixed up. We got the iron plugged in over here warming up. Now we're gonna prepare the chicken. So the first thing we're gonna do is slice it into smaller strips. Okay, there's that. We got a couple of containers here we're gonna prepare. One of them is regular coconut flour. The next one's gonna be an egg wash. So we're just gonna put two eggs and a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Okay, and the last one's gonna be for our breading. Now, I'm gonna use max pork rinds for this. That's gonna be the base of this breading. There we go. And the first thing we have to do is crush these up. I'm gonna use paper towel. If you have a big plastic bag, you can put them in there and crush them up too. But I don't have a big plastic bag, so. This will have to do. Okay, once those are crushed up, we're going to use grated Parmesan. And you can just use your own judgment for how much of this stuff you put in there. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, black pepper, Himalayan pink salt, a little bit of cayenne pepper. You don't have to use this, it is hot, but I like it. Not too much. Mix that all around. We're gonna fry our chicken in a cast iron skillet and use extra virgin olive oil. And the way we're gonna coat this chicken is to just take each piece and put it first in the coconut flour. Get that coated good in there. Over to the egg wash. From the egg wash, we're gonna go into our breading. While that's frying in there, we're gonna move over here and do the waffles. guys there it is delicious chicken and waffles for our movie night let's just take a little taste here have a little bite of our waffles too look at that oh that looks so good look at how it's steaming
Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is out of this world. Chicken and waffles, guys. All right, I'm taking our movies. Scary movies to tell in the dark and pixels on Blu-ray, chicken and waffles, and I'm making it a movie night. If you guys make your own movie night, come on over to That Nate Guys and Gals on Facebook. Tell us all about it. Post your pictures. Make some t-shirts. I hope you guys will subscribe and come back every Saturday for more. I'll see you later. Peace.